The Indian Air Force has deployed a squadron of MiG-29 new PG fighter jets at the Srinagar Air Base, which has now replaced the MiG-21 squadron at the Air Base. The squadron leader has said that the MiG-29 is better suited to tackle threats from both the Pakistani and Chinese front, as it features higher thrust-to-weight ratio better avionics and longer range, as well as long-range air-to-air and air-to-ground missiles. The upgraded aircraft can operate at night with night vision goggles, and also has the capability to jam the capabilities of enemy aircraft. The indigenous high-altitude long-endurance class UAV is currently under consultation between the Aeronautical Development Establishment Hindustan Aeronautics and the Indian Tri-Service. It will be powered by a 940 horsepower turboprop engine, and will have an all-up weight of 5 tons and a payload capacity of 2 tons. New reports indicate that the prototype rollout could take place in 2026, and a comprehensive period of 4 years is earmarked for trials, and could receive clearance for production by 2030 or 2031. The chairman of Hindustan Aeronautics has said in an interview that Argentina is looking to acquire 20 units of the advanced light helicopter, with the potential for even more units in the pipeline at a later stage. Argentine Army Aviation and Air Force have a combined requirement of nearly 50 helicopters, and HAL will establish a local maintenance repair and overhaul facility in Argentina, that will also cater to any other potential customers in the region. Due to commonality of engines and other systems, Argentina has also shown interest in the Pratchan light combat helicopter. A delegation of Argentinian military officials visited the facilities of Munitions India Limited to explore avenues for potential procurement of Indian-made multi-mode grenades and other small arm munitions for the Argentine armed forces. Munitions India Limited has already received an order for 10 lakh multi-mode hand grenades from the Indian Army, and 100 crore rupees export order from Armenia. The chairman of Hindustan Aeronautics has said that HAL is in the process of initiating price negotiations for General Electric F-414 engine. He also revealed that General Electric has been asked to submit new quotes for the engine, once it receives legislative clearance from the United States Congress later this year, which will pave the way for the engine deal to move forward. After the recent ban on the use of Chinese components in the production of drones, Chennai-based Garuda Aerospace which is developing the Vajra Stealth UCAF for the Indian Armed Forces has said that it has decided to increase localization of its drones from existing 40% to 75% and achieve 100% localization by end of 2024. The Vajra Stealth UCAF will have an endurance of 6 hours and can carry small drone-launched ammunition from its internal bay. Italy's ambassador to India has said that India and Italy are all set to sign a bilateral pact in the defense sector to ramp up military ties. He also said that Italy is working hard to contribute to the Make in India program, with some specific technologies such as torpedoes, helicopters, radar systems and electronic warfare equipment. Italian Navy's ITS Francesco Marosini also arrived at Mumbai yesterday for a port call which is the first Italian Navy ship to visit India since 2012.